What is going on guys? So quick scenario about what's going on right now. I actually don't know why my lights are still on, but today we're gonna to be installing a few mods on the 86. As you can see over there, we got a seat. That is the Braum racing seat that I had in the Camaro. We're gonna be putting that in the 86 today. Um, it's been a huge pain in the ass because I've been waiting for brackets. We were gonna to try to use the Camaro brackets, but obviously um, they don't fit. So I contacted Planted Technology. They're the ones who make these brackets really high quality. If you guys ever need seat brackets, I highly recommend them. That's who Braum uses for their seat brackets. Now, Kenny and I are gonna be taking off this bracket, we're gonna put in the new one on, and then we're gonna be taking out the old seats, putting the new seats in, and then we also have another mod that we're gonna be putting on the car today. So, if you take a look at my car right now, it's pretty crazy. Um, this is the seat brackets. I do have tires here. I have two wheels in the back seat with the seat folded. I got a wheel in the trunk and then I have a wheel in the front passenger seat. So I've been driving like that since this morning, killing my back because it's pushing this front seat all the way up. So I'm on like a straight 90 degree angle. And yeah, I had to go to FedEx after work because it was a huge issue with the delivery. So that is pretty much what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna show you guys the wheels once I get them out of the car. Um, and then we're gonna be showing you the installation process for the seats. The wheels are pretty much common sense. I had my buddy Matt help me out yesterday with mounting them. So huge shout out to Matt. And yeah, I'm gonna get started. I just wanna eat quick and I'll catch you guys when I'm back. Right now we got one of the seats out. It's actually really easy compared to the Camaro I had. There's four bolts, two in the back, two in the front. I don't really know the size off the top of my head, but one thing you guys need to know is the passenger side has this, what would you call this, like a scale, Ken? Like a pressure plate or something? The thing that, yeah, I would just say a pressure plate. It's like pretty much when someone sits in the seat, if they don't have their seatbelt on, the weight's gonna tell that someone's sitting there and then the light goes off telling you put the seatbelt on. Um, this connects to the actual side of the seatbelt. So I'm not going through the effort to get all this, to plug everything in um, to the Braum seats just because it's gonna be a really big pain in the ass. And then also there's this yellow harness, which I believe is for the airbag to my knowledge. So pretty much what we're doing is we're just gonna run the regular seatbelt. I don't wanna worry about the wires or anything. I am gonna have a seatbelt light on, which eventually I'm probably gonna tune out. But all the videos we saw on YouTube, no one really showed this wiring harness, I think because most people just don't care about an airbag light or a seatbelt light. So just in case someone wants to do this and go this route, you do need to take these wires off if you don't wanna have an airbag light or a seatbelt light. So right now, this is what the car looks like without having the seat. And then you can see the four bolts that would be going into these holes here. And then this is the harness for the airbag. And then this one is for the seatbelt, I believe. So that is pretty much it. Kenny's over there mounting the bracket to the seat. We got one seat in, or I should say Kenny got one seat in. <laughs> we had an issue with the slider on the seat. It was hitting these back bolts, which I'm gonna show you guys. So it was hitting the bolts back here. Basically the rail here wasn't clearing over the bolt. So Kenny took a shim and he put it between, let me zoom in for you guys. The bolt here, we lifted up the railing and we put it there. So if you look on this side, I'm sorry for the lighting, it kind of sucks, but that silver bolt right there, that's the shim. Um, we only used one and it's just enough clearance to clear over the bolt. So. If you guys have shorter bolts, I would recommend doing that. If not, use a shim or a washer and you should be all set. But right now we have one seat in. Didn't use any spacers for the actual seat itself. Since these cars are so small, it's actually perfect riding height. Um, in the Camaro, we had to make a custom half inch spacer on, or eight inch spacer for these seats before when I installed them, so. So far, so good. We got the driver's side in now. Uh, overall, the car looks so much better with these seats. Personally, I thought the red trim was gonna be a little bit much seeing that the car is like blue, but it's not too noticeable since it's a thin trim. <laughs> I can't even, that just threw me off so much. <laughs> since it's a thin red stripe, it's not too bad. The seats are dirty just because they've been sitting in the garage. We gotta clean them up tomorrow. So overall, I think the Braum seats are way better than the stock seats that come in the car as it is. Now for the wheels, I'm gonna be showing you guys now because we have the car jacked up. We have the Cosmos XT 206 Rs um, with, the, I think it's gunmetal gray. I don't remember the exact color. I'm gonna have to show you guys tomorrow in the daylight. But I did it with the polish slip. They are 18 by nine. And then the tire size is 235, 40, 18s. Um, I wasn't gonna do a 17 inch wheel, but 
honestly, it's just too small in my opinion. I mean, the Camaro had 20s and then the car before that had 18s. So I didn't want to go to a 17 unless I was doing like a super fat tire or something. Um, but since I do want to probably wide body the car, I do want to have 18s and then eventually I'm going to get wider tires. But I'm going to probably run these for two months and then winter time I'm going to end up throwing the stocks back on. But for now, this isn't too bad. I like the wheels a lot. Huge shout out to Cosmos because they sponsored these. I'm really happy with how they came out with the color and everything. We're going to throw them on the car and see how they look and then I'm going to show you guys. So we had a problem with the wheels. Um, I'm an idiot and realized that I needed new lug nuts. So, just a tip, most of you probably already know this, I just was too worried about getting these on because I'm very impatient, but uh, we need new lug nuts, so I'm going to get new lug nuts, try to get them overnight shipped or two-day shipped, and then I'm not going to end the video here just so that way the video is not super short, and in a day or so when we get it, we will throw the wheels on, but we did test fit it, everything fits, it just needs lug nuts, but overall, like I said, the seats look good. And the wheels look great, but can't put them on. So I will catch you guys in a minute, but in reality, it's gonna be a day or two. Just a little uh, update for you guys on what's going on. So it's currently next day. I just got out of work. Uh, it's 5.38. I'm heading to AutoZone right now to pick up new lugs uh, because as you guys saw yesterday, we tried putting the stock lugs on and for some reason, I wasn't thinking and I should have realized that I needed new lugs for these new wheels, but I was very eager to get these wheels on due to the car show being Saturday and that was my own mistake. I won't be able to get the extended lugs before Saturday, so that's why I'm just buying these right now just so that way we can get the wheels on and I don't go to the car show with a stock 86. I went to Advance Auto, I got this set here, M12 by one and a quarter, um, should work. They're not extremely long, but I have the key, so it should be okay. Just until I get the extended lugs, I'm waiting for Kennedy to open up the garage door right now. The wheels are on the car, and the car kind of looks like a monster truck right now, but that's okay. Peaks out just a little bit, so I might have to throw some camber in there to kind of adjust that. And then I'm gonna show you guys the front. Just a little bit. Actually, I might have the steering wheel turned a little bit. I don't think the steering wheel is too straight, but oh. these are a 33 or a 35 offset. I'm not too sure. I would have to double check. I'll actually put it on the screen for you guys. Um, where before the rear wheels were like in the wheel fender a lot. But if I end up wide binding this, it's not too big of a deal because we're going to have to bring the fenders out a little bit anyways and then just throw a spacer on and make that flush. So that's not too big of a deal for now. Um, I might have my buddy Matt add camber so that way it's dipped in just a little bit. But overall, really happy with the wheels. The tires are dirty, so I'm going to have to clean them up. But we got the hub-centric rings on. The new lug nuts work out perfectly. This is just temporary. All right, guys, so I apologize because this video is kind of all over the place, seeing that it's been over the past three days that I've been doing everything for this car. Um, as you can see, seats are in, wheels are on. I'm going to show you guys what the new wheels look like in the daylight because it was very dark outside last night and you couldn't really see them that well. So as I was saying about like the height issue, the tires to me seem very tall. I don't know if it's just because of that wheel gap and it's a bigger tire so the car was kind of lifted up a little bit. I'm sure if I add like a front lip and a side skirt, it's gonna make the car look a little bit lower to the ground and it's gonna fix that issue. But this is an issue. This needs to get fixed. This is way too tall. Um, I wanted to bag it, but it's too much money. I don't really wanna spend that much money on the car. Um, so I might do coils. If not, I'll do lowering springs. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys did and you know if you prefer anything over for cheaper cost now again i am very happy with the wheels in general the tires not too much i bought the tires off uh facebook marketplace just so i can have something seeing that i'm only gonna be running them for a few months um i don't even know the brand they're nokian and i don't know like what style they are i'm sure it's somewhere on here i know they're all seasons there's a lot of tread life in them which is why i thought it was a good deal but now that I've been driving with them, it is so loud. It kind of sounds like if you have a Jeep Wrangler with like off-road tires, that's pretty much the same effect that these tires are giving off. I don't know if it's because they're like so new um, or if they're just loud tires in general. Like this is what I mean about where I had to park. There's random planks, there's bare cans and shit. Terrible place, but at least this way you guys can see the wheels. 
um, like I said before with the poke it pokes out just a little bit in the rear and then the front has a, a lot meaner poke but nothing a little bit of camber can't fix and then like I said if I wide body it then it's definitely not gonna be an issue I'm glad I went with gray though on these wheels I was gonna do all black but I like the polished lip look and even this spot would be a good photo I might actually use this for the thumbnail this is a perfect spot um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I know I definitely like them. Car show is Saturday. Today is Thursday. There's nothing else I can really do. I have an exhaust coming tomorrow, so that's going to be a new video as well. Um, I did a Burke muffler delete, and then I'm going to try to get uh, unequal length headers just so I can get that deep Subi sound that everybody loves, even though it's a Toyota. But me personally, that's one of my favorite sounds for these exhausts. I would do a full Tome, but that is way too much money. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I apologize again that everything's been all over the place, but it's what I had to do. Um, like I said, exhaust is coming in tomorrow. I have a bachelor party I have to go to, so I'm probably not gonna make a video tomorrow, but Saturday I'll be making the video, and then Saturday night or Sunday I'll be uploading it, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, comment down below anything you wanna see done to this car. I don't know much about it, so if there's little mods that are kind of cheap or whatever you think would be cool to add to the car, let me know. Uh, any support and help is appreciated. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.